Tempers flared at Honolulu Hale today after the mayor's cabinet accused the council of proposing drastic and damaging cuts to the city budget. The council chair vigorously defended the proposals as a way to provide tax relief for homeowners. Daryl Huff joins us with the latest and breaks down the argument. Daryl. Now, this was the first round in what looks like a potentially long battle. The council chair said he's not cutting the budget, just adding 5% to what they spent last year. But the mayor's administration said that would devastate many growing city programs. I don't feel like taking drastic measures during the budget process is the right way to do it. Council Chair Tommy Waters provoked the argument by pointing out that prior budgets included money for jobs that were never filled. And that money, he said, should be used on new initiatives and that might prevent property tax increases. Maybe that's drastic, but that's, I think, what people are asking us to do. Rumors about the budget cuts brought some city workers to show face for the debate. Folks that are actually in city positions right now don't need to be, you know, worried that they're going to be losing their job. But these comments and you parading people in saying they're not going to have a job, that's not fair to us, that's not fair to them, and it's certainly not fair to people watching on the news. I have never in my years here seen a magnitude of proposed cuts at this stage. Okay, it's, it's, it's pretty drastic. We're going back to last year's budget, yes or no? It looks like. Plus 5%. It does look like. Right? That. Yeah. Okay, so you're saying now you've never seen such drastic cuts before is not the truth. Um, because I, we're going back to last year's budget. I mean, let's not play games here. So in this let's comment, not play games here. In this comment, if I'm you want to work with us, we'll work I with you. I want to work with you. Let's figure out what you need. Even after that dressing down, the city information officer pointed out that one five million dollar reduction in computer services could have devastating effects. If, if we don't have the flexibility, we're going to go back to where we were before, and it's going to be very difficult. Waters promised that his tactic was not to harm city services or take away anyone's job. And this is only the first of multiple meetings on the city budget, but it's clear that the mayor's administration and the council are approaching this process from two very different points of view. Daryl Huff, Hawaii News Now. Thank you, Daryl. Firefighters.